Hi guys, Krista here, your independent Cincy consultant. So finally on the final installment of the um, warm review for returning scents in this catalog. This does not include scents that have been around for a while like Luna, um, um, what, what are some of the others? Luna, Apple Butter Frosting, those that stay in all the catalogs typically. These are, these have been, if you knew, the, the first episode is, I think this is episode four of it. Um, so go back and check out that first episode and find out what it is. But, but it is the, the scents that have returned to this catalog that are not new releases. Um, I did a video on new releases, so you can catch that one. This is the returning scents. A lot of them I have never warmed before, so I thought it'd be kind of fun to go through them. Um, I don't know, I might do testers, warm the testers of scents that stay in the catalog. Um, a lot of those I have warmed before, so I, I don't know, I gotta, I gotta look and see if, if I've warmed them before, then I might not do that. But anyway, I'm gonna move forward because there are, in, in the last, there were 10 episodes, uh, 10 cents, this was 11. And the reason why it is so far forward, um, my mom was here for a week and she was staying in the guest room, which is where I was doing the testing of these. And I didn't want to um, change that schedule. Like, like we just let, I just put in one thing for her that whole week and, and, and whatnot. So I didn't, um, I didn't do any testing in that room. So also the hot mess. I cannot, other than eye makeup, I can't wear any makeup right now. Um, it's just cause my skin is just going crazy, but so sorry for the shininess on that. So moving forward, the next one was a cinnamon bear, cinnamon bear. Um, the scent notes for Cinnamon Bear is, it's a bestseller, crisp, spicy cinnamon with a touch of cloves. This ain't no lie. <laughs> it is straight up red hot cinnamon. Um, let's see. I said, um, it's been a while since I've done one of these videos. Okay. I, um, Cinnapil on Cold was about a five out of 10. It smells like hot tamale to me. I enjoy eating hot tamales. But I'm not necessarily one to love smelling hot tamales. Um, Centipil on warm by itself was also a five out of ten. It's just not something I would warm by myself. However, I might would buy a bar to have on hand for mixing, um, especially with Rise and Sunshine, which was the scent of the month for July, I think. And it is an awesome um, fall transition type scent. Add some spice to it, like cinnamon bear. And that awesome mix, that could be an awesome mix. So I might get a bar for, for that. Um, <clears throat> Centipil, I already did that on warm. Um, it lasted about 25 hours, so it is long lasting. So spicy scents like this tend to be longer lasting. And the strength and throw was a seven or eight out of 10. Um, so to warm by itself, no, but to get to mix, yeah, absolutely. Cinnamon bear is, is a great mixer, um, as that bright spiciness, but it is a red hot spice. It's not a, um, bakery spice, a bakery cinnamon. I like the bakery cinnamons too, um, <clears throat> for mixing. All right, next. Okay, let me turn my page. Stroop Waffle Delight. I saw one of these today, Stroop Waffle Delight. Um, I, we have them here. I, I I can find them in our Dollar General stores. Um, so I don't, I, I, I don't know. It is a little, they're a little wafer. They're, they're thin, like waffle wafer type, crispy. And it's got ooey gooey caramel in the center. Um, the, the point of them is to set it on top of your hot coffee or your tea on that coffee mug. And it kind of melts that caramel. Um, I've eaten them. I think they're great. But I don't buy them very often. Um, but I've had I've had them before. I think they're pretty good. They are just a um, vanilla, like a caramelly vanilla. Stroop waffle delight. Let me find it in my book. I've got my I've got my catalog here for scent notes. I don't know if I did that for the last one. A cozy twist on a traditional Dutch treat made with creamy vanilla, rich melted butter, and cinnamon. I don't get any cinnamon, and the vanilla and melted butter is basically that caramel. 
and it is very, very caramel. It's very, very sweet. It's very, very vanilla. And y'all know that's my favorite, right? <laughs> so no, send a pill on cold and warm was low for me, a three out of 10. It's a, it's a really strong performer. Like this, the strength and throw was eight or nine, um, but it was a short lived performer. It, it only lasted about 12 hours. So, but that, that is, that, that's the nature of the beast with the vanilla bakery in, in my experience. They're not long lasting. Um, this one is super duper strong. It started off really, really strong. And then it went to that just straight vanilla, which I, y'all know I don't like. So, um, it's, it's a good scent. It's just not a scent for me. So strong, short lasting, um, perfect, that perfect vanilla. I don't get any cinnamon out of it at all, but it, it could be good to mix with something that is super strong that you want to kind of bring down. So it could do that. Um, apple and cinnamon six. Apple peel, spiced white pumpkin, and a touch of oak. I don't get any pumpkin in this. It's very much oak and apple. And spice it doesn't say spice in the scent in the scent notes but there's definitely cinnamon and it is in the name but actually it's more like getting a cinnamon stick and stick it in your nose not necessarily the um it's not a bakery cinnamon and it's not a um red hot cinnamon it, it is that cinnamon stick it's that, that woodsy cinnamon stick so it sent a pill on cold for this was about a six out of ten it's too woodsy for me um, and that's, that's odd to say because I tend to, I tend to like some woodsy scents, but this one I think was more that cinnamon wood scent that it just didn't, it, it, I, I, it just didn't work for me that well. Um, strength and throw though, it was super strong. It's about an eight out of 10. Um, it lasted a good 13, 14 hours. I took it out before it was all gone. Um, just because it was getting almost a cedar. Type, even though it doesn't say cedar it says oak but um so it's a really good strong really good um woodsy note it does have a little bit of apple in it but not a lot you might could ramp it up with some if you got your hands on it some johnny apple seed uh brick so oh i'm sorry that's probably loud apple and cinnamon sticks Next is Cozy Cardigan. I really like this scent. It's a very, um, let me find my page. It's a very soft perfume, girly. What do they have it under? Cozy Cardigan. Is it under fresh? Yes, it is. Okay, for Cozy Cardigan. Find bedded bliss in layers of soft suede, blushing rose, and amber silk. You don't get those single notes. You don't get rose. You don't get suede. It does have, actually, it does kind of have a leathery, not leather as in like um, weathered leather type leather, but um, suede. <laughs> it's just a soft suede. Soft suede. I don't get a rose rose, but the blushing, the amber silk, definitely, definitely amber. It's a really pretty, um, soft feminine scent. I have it in the, um, um, the bath soaks. I used to have some in the, oh, maybe I didn't have this in the bath bombs. I missed the bath bombs. I wish they'd bring some back. So anyway, yes, I would buy it. I have bought it. Um, Cinnapil on cold, 8 out of 10. It's a sweet perfume. Uh, Cinnapil on warm was also an 8 out of 10. The strength was, it was not super duper strong. Like I couldn't walk just straight to the door and smell it. I had to walk in the room. So I put the strength and throw maybe closer to a 6, maybe a 7. Um, but it was not, like I said, not super duper strong, but it was pretty consistent. It didn't, it didn't like die down. It was like pretty consistent and then gone and it lasted probably a good 20 plus hours is what i have written down so cozy cardigan definitely one that i like um all right for those those four and for all the previous ones i had two testers um <clears throat> so i had two testers in that warmer it's a glass warmer it's my mermaid warmer I t i've kept it consistent up until now i didn't have two testers of these so i only used one tester the one tester that i had 
Um, so it might change the strength a little bit. Um, the, the, the strength and throw might be a little skewed, but not enough to make a huge difference in, in this, in this whole hot mess of a situation. All right. So perfect pumpkin hair. Let's talk about this a minute. <laughs> The scent notes, fall fresh pumpkin and crisp, crisp golden pears mingle with a breeze, drifting cloves and sandalwood accents. They should have left out the sandalwood. Last year, this came out as a scent of the month for October? Was it October? And I was obsessed with it. I thought it was awesome. It was like potpourri, you know? The first thing that people fell in love with in the 80s and 90s was home fragrance with potpourri. And that's just kind of how, how it made me think of it. But ugh, I can't stand it now. I can't stand it this year. Uh, maybe because I'm really wanting a sweet fruit, the pear and the pumpkins, like cider mill with a little extra spice. It's what I'm expecting when I read the scent notes. And then that sandalwood just takes it to a whole nother level. So, yeah. So one tester of this, no, I wouldn't buy it. I think I have a couple, I think I have a couple of bars still left over from when it was scent of the month. Scent to on cold, it's about a six, seven. It's not, I don't hate it on cold actually. But then I get it in there and warm it and I'm like, so it's five out of ten for there and i'm sorry if you love this and if you love it it's a great performer it's a it starts off real strong in a nine or eight out of ten strength and throw and it kind of gets down to about a seven and then it's pretty consistent throughout it lasted a long time i did not write it down six, seven, eight, nine, 12, six, six, six. so it, it lasted probably about 20 25 hours so it's a long lasting high thrower so, you know, if you really want that kind of scent and you and you like this, then this is a perfect scent for you. As far as actual scent appeal, it's not there for me. So, that's okay. That's something for everybody. All right. Carol Apple Craze. Um, scent notes, scent notes, scent notes, scent notes. It's pretty much what it says. Why is this not under bakery? I'm sorry, a caramel apple is bakery. Is it under spice? Surely not, because there is no spice in this. Not new releases. It's not fresh. It's not woods. Fruity, really fruity? Okay. Creamy golden caramel, sweet red delicious apples, and whipped vanilla. And the reason why I'm surprised about it being under fruity, yeah, it is apple but it is way much more caramel and vanilla than it is apple. So yeah, you can smell the apple, but the apple burns off really, really fast. And then you're left with this ooey gooey caramel and vanilla, which again, you know, is my favorite. Um, <laughs> so, uh, Centibill on cold. I actually really love the smell of it in the tester because that apple really comes out. Um, so the Cinepil on cold is like an eight out of 10, but then once I start warming it and that apple dissipates pretty quick, it goes down to about a six. Um, strength and throw is a good seven or six out of, out of 10. It's nice and strong um, until that apple goes away. And then it, then it kind of just goes down, like I said, to that creamy caramel and vanilla. Um, so it was not long lasting though. It lasted less than nine hours. Which for one tester, okay, um, I'm usually pretty happy with a eight to nine hours of a tester. I'm satisfied with that. I prefer a lot more um, in length, but I am fairly satisfied with, um, you know, anywhere from seven and a half to nine hours for one, one tester. Because uh, one tester is about three-fourths of a cube. So, <clears throat> uh, will I buy it? No, I have a couple of bars left over from when it was sent of the month last year in August, September. It was with the Haunted House. I think that was September. So, I've got a couple of bars. I might would add it with uh, Johnny Appleseed to ramp up the apple a little bit longer. So, it's a good one. Butter pecan. 
And I, this one, this video is, is sounding, I know, a little negative, but that's because a lot of these scents are those vanilla-based bakeries that, that y'all already know is not my favorite. Um, and, and I, I, but I'm trying to give a fair assessment of the actual evaluation of the scent and not as much of my opinion, even though my opinion, yeah, might be along, it, it might be exactly the same as yours, so it might help you. And so I'm trying to give that as well, but um, with a fair assessment of how it warms as well. So I'm trying to do that. Um, if it sounded negative to you, I'm really sorry. I'm trying. I'm trying to keep it from being that way. Butter pecan. Butter pecan is. Is it? They better not have that under fruity. <laughs> Let's see. Bakery. Butter pecan. If fall had a flagship fragrance, this blend of candied pecan and maple folded with butter would be a strong contender. Um, I'm not personally a fan of eating anything butter pecan flavored. Um, like butter pecan ice cream or anything like that. It's one of my dad's favorites, but it's not necessarily mine. Now you can hand me some cinnamon um, pecans or glazed pecans and I'll tear those suckers up. <laughs> but butter pecan, it's not necessarily my thing. Um, I wouldn't buy it. Uh, it's just, I wouldn't buy it. Cinnamon on cold, actually, I don't hate it. It's like a seven. Cause it is a nice scent. Butter, butter pecan is a nice scent. When it warms, it goes down to about a five or a six because it's that vanilla that you know I don't like. So that's my scent appeal. That is my appeal um, of that scent. It is very strong. It is a powerhouse performer, about a nine out of 10. It is a beautiful butter pecan scent when warmed. So if it is your type of scent, it is a gorgeous scent. So yes, I will give them that. It's very buttery. It's very pecan. It's very sweet and maple um actually it's not a ton of maple it's not like that it's not a ton ton of maple but it is very much a lot of butter a lot of pecan a lot of vanilla so yes it and it is strong so it's great when it comes to that um it lasted about 14 hours so for one tester i am perfectly pleased with that and when it was when i turned it off it was nothing but but butter like that's what it smelled like was just a butter butter smell. So you might could have left it in even longer if you like that kind of scent. So butter pecan. It's not something that I would buy, but it was a good performer. Pretty and plaid. Oh, I'm trying to make this a fairly short video. We're already at 17 minutes. <sighs> That's why I'm talking so fast. All right. Pretty and plaid. Juniper berries, jive with minty fresh wintergreen, festive Douglas fir, and bright tart cranberries. I really like this on cold. It was like a seven or eight out of 10 on cold. I don't think I like juniper berries that much. In general, I have several of these, so I wouldn't buy it. Um, but I will bar I will melt through the bars that I have. Um, the cinder pill on warm went down a little bit, maybe a five, six out of 10, because it kind of goes bitter. Um, I don't know if it's the Douglas fir or if it's the juniper berries, but once that cranberry burns off, it goes bitter. So I might would um, might try mixing it with something like snow snow kiss cranberry, which is just straight up sweet berries. Um, so yeah, and and it strength and throw was about a six seven out of ten. So it was a fair performer as far as that goes. It lasted a good twenty four hours on one tester, so I'm perfectly happy with that. But it's a really sharp, bitter note to me. And I think to enjoy it fully, I, I, I would want to add some cranberry to it, maybe. So, that's pretty implied. I have some I wouldn't buy anymore, but but um, I, it's, it's a good one. I'll enjoy it this, this um, season. Next, snowberry. I love snowberry. Let's see, where do they have that? Do they have that in fruity? Luscious blend of loganberry, strawberry, peppermint, and zesty cinnamon. I don't get any cinnamon with this. Like, no cinnamon at all. There is a... It's not just straight berries. There is a spice, so that must be that cinnamon. But it is a sweet spice. It's not... It's not like a cinnamon bear spice. Um, yes, I would buy this. Yes, I have bought it. I need to get some. Uh, cinnamon on cold is about 9 out of 10. And once it gets warming, it goes up. It's like 
the perfect scent for me. Nine and a half, ten out of ten. I love it. Love it, love it. It is sweet, it's fruity, it's strong. It's about a nine, it's about an eight to nine out of ten on strength for me. Um, absolutely love it. It lasted about 14 hours, so I was I was happy with that with one tester. So snowberry, two thumbs up. All right, next. Two more. Evergreen and grapefruit. This was my go-to last year for um this was actually came out last year in the what was it called? It was the Fireside Bundle, I think. I think it was called the Fireside Bundle. I don't remember exactly, but Evergreen Grapefruit is fresh fir needles and white cedar sparkle with radiant notes of grapefruit. It was what I warmed last year because it came in that bundle and it's okay. Um, it's not going to be my go-to this year because there are others that I like a whole lot more, especially the new one, just, uh, picked, uh, just for you. Is that what it's called? Just for you. I really, really like that one so much more. So, um, evergreen and grapefruit. No, I won't buy it. It's, Cinnapil on cold is about a six out of ten. I like others better. Um, Cinnapil on warm is about the same. It's just kind of, eh. It's okay. I don't hate it. I don't love it. Um, it lasted about seven hours, so it's not a super duper strong lasting. Most tree scents aren't. Um, it was really really strong at first, like punch you in the face, nine out of ten, and then it was gone. So um, it. Uh, there are just others I like better, but it's a, if you like the scent notes in this one, and you and you're okay with it being a one day or type scent, it's a good performer for that. All right, last but not least is a Snow Kiss Cranberry, and I did not go in any kind of order in doing this. I just grabbed them. <laughs> so Snow Kiss Cranberry, um, I like this one. Cinnapil on cold. Eight, eight to nine out of ten. It's very sweet. It's very fruity. But it is a it is a holiday fruity. It's not a summer fruity. So when it warmed, it stayed about the same. Eight, eight, eight out of ten. It's really, really sweet. It's really, really pretty. Um, it's very bright. It's very fruity. Very berry. Um, strength and throw is about an eight out of ten. It's very strong. I could smell it. If I were sitting right here and it was still going, I could smell it. Wanting a super duper long lasting in that high strength. It does die down and kind of settle out at about a six. Um, so, and then it was gone after about 10 hours, um, which for one tester, I'm okay with that. So yeah, I have, I have backups of this from when it was, it was scent of the month, December, maybe. And I have some backups left of it, so I wouldn't buy any right now, but uh, I really do like that. I enjoy that. So, that is it as far as the returning scents that aren't new. <laughs> so, I've done the new scents. I've done the returning scents that aren't new. The, the ones I haven't done are scents that aren't returning and aren't new that have been a staple in the catalog. I don't know how many there are of those. There's, there's quite a few. Weathered Leather, Sheer Leather, um, Saddle Up, Mystery Man. What do we got here? Jamie Time, Just Breathe, Newborn Nursery, Perf I did Perfect Peppermint. Um, clothesline, clean breeze, by the sea, Amazon rain, aloe water and cucumber, um, apple butter frosting, apple cherry strudel, baked apple pie, blueberry cheesecake, sugar cookie. Y'all, I'm, I'm melting welcome home right now in my bedroom and I absolutely love it. I always forget that I love that scent. So welcome home. <laughs> That's what made me think about it. Welcome home. So you get you get my, you get my point. Um, so blue grotto, coconut lemongrass, lemon verbena, squeeze the day, sunken citrus, Luna, um, sea salt and avocado, perfectly pomegranate, berry bright, black raspberry, vanilla. So if you don't want me to do those, um, 
I sure, I sure don't mind. I'm gonna change out my warmer though, because I wanna put a fall warmer in there. Um, but I wanted to keep these with the same warmer, just to keep it consistent. So I might start on that. I mean, they're just testers. I can buy more testers. <laughs> uh, so, yeah, I might go ahead and start on that, but if y'all come back and say, no, nah, we're good, then, you know, I'll, I'll, you know, stop that. But anyway, everybody have an awesome week. Happy Monday. I'm going to try and get this uploaded tonight um, just because it's been so long since the, the last one and I want to finish out this series. I hope y'all enjoyed this series. I hope you, I hope you get something from it. Um, so if you do, let me know. Um, somebody suggested, uh, um, like a, a, a video on some of the stronger scents. So I'm going to work on that. Um, I do take your suggestions. I don't get notifications of comments at all. And I have looked, I have searched, I have tried to find how to get these notifications. So if I miss a comment, it is not on purpose. I enjoy talking to everybody. I love hearing from people. I love interacting with everybody. So um, if, I, if I miss a comment, I'm really, really sorry. It's not intentional. Um, I do try and go on and, and check and, and comment and talk with people. So, I and it's not like I have a whole bunch to go through. It's just I just don't get the uh, notifications. So, and for me, a lot of times it's out of sight, out of mind. And that's a bad thing, but I'm working on it. I'm working on it. Anyway, thanks for joining me, and I will catch you all next time. Bye.